I've dealt with what it feels like to be an outcast. I'm Paris Patel, and I play Matthew on The Chosen. Nice. Why are you here? Why are you escorting you? One of my main feelings with Matthew is that I just think he's really misunderstood. Everyone hates him. He's a tax collector, you know, and you know, he's a traitor. But what I love about this show is that we're exploring what his inner turmoil is and why he is the way he is and what his circumstance met with the environment has turned him into. And so in that, I've really just learned to take a step back and not judge people because I think we can all make that mistake by judging someone really quick. You know, Matthew, when you're not behind iron bars, you're quite handsome. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> With Matthew, he's always just processing things. He doesn't quite get it. And he has, for me, he has two emotions, either extreme anger, extreme sadness. There's no middle ground. So that's hard to, to keep it contained and just show it. And that's why, you know, I, I like to just show things through my eyes and thoughts and where you can know what he's thinking. And then, you know, when he doesn't know how to handle the energy he's feeling with his emotions, he uses his hands. Because how else can you get that energy out? It's mostly from just research I've done based on, you know, people I've observed who are on the spectrum and just kind of identifying just the isolation opening up that, that world of, you know, what it's like living with autism and on the spectrum. Because there, you know, people think I'm scared by just because I'm not close to, like, people, like, present, strong presence kind right. of thing. But I do feel brave, like, I do encounter things and I do, once something spins in my mind about what's right and, you know, this is, has to be my job kind of thing, you know, then it's... And that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. I've dealt with what it feels like to be an outcast or feel like an outcast or just kind of feel like you don't fit in. So that's something that is painful to deal with. And that's what I use to kind of connect with my character because I think many people can relate to that and going through that. And it's important for me to show people that we're not alone, we all go through the same things because you don't know who needs to hear that or who needs to see that and just, you know, kind of resonate with something like that and see, um, see how the character deals with it or how the outcome is. And I want the audience to come out leaving seeing a, a deeper layer to Matthew. Do you think that impossible things can happen? And just connecting more with him, because he's a human. We're, we're onions, we're layers. You have to peel through those layers to get to the core. Everything I thought I knew. What if it's wrong? Of course, you're seeing a piece of Paris in Matthew, multiple pieces. One of them is the fact that I'm very OCD. Uh, I always have like a list of things I need to get done. I always like clean areas. I have to take a shower before I get in my bed. No, it's a thing. It can be 4 a.m. in the morning, but I have to shower before I get in my bed. He is me. This is my character. This, I'm so connected to him that I just think my few thoughts to get into that world of thinking. I'm just so grateful and I feel like I've been gifted to get this kind of role and the magnitude that it is and the reach that it has and the potential reach that it will have. I think coming into the show, I didn't, I was blessed to have this role, but I didn't know, it was more of why me kind of thing. Now I can confidently say that this role was meant for me and it like fit like a glove. And I just want to keep doing justice to that and justice to the text and the writing. They don't believe what I saw, but I do. I need to know, am I deceived? My heart is full. You have a lot on your shoulders and um, just to get an affirmation from, from the supporters and investors and the fans. I've been reading the messages, I've been you know, seeing all the comments and it's just really touched my heart because I've worked really hard on this character. And so to see that people are resonating with what's going on, it, it means a lot to me. I, I couldn't ask for anything more and um, you know, you've made me feel like I'm a million feet tall. Hey, it's Dallas and the creator of The Chosen, and if you liked what you just saw and you want to see the episodes of the first ever multi-season show about the life of Christ, you can do so right now for free. Yes, if you get The Chosen app, you can watch these episodes for free right now. You're going to go to thechosen.tv or the Apple Store or Google Play, download the app, and you can watch immediately episodes one through four. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks so much.